Welcome, folks. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Tamar Dia. We're looking at an honest trailers today. Honest trailers, The Mandalorian. Now, you watched season one of The Mandalorian. Yes. As of high, and I am very, very excited about season two. For those of you who have never seen an honest trailers before, I'm sure most of you watching this have. Basically, <laughs> they just make fun of the like. If the trailer was honest and told you exactly like what you're in for, right. what would it say? It's just a joke. Here we go. <laughs> This episode is sponsored by State Farm. After Star Wars was ruined forever thanks to the <laughs> monsters at Disney, Star Wars will be unruined by an all new streaming series made by the monsters at Disney. <laughs> Do they hate us or not? This is the way. The Mandalorian. Anakin was supposed to bring balance. Luke should have saved the day. And Ray just ended up squatting at the farm of her mental <laughs> uncle that he hated and couldn't wait to run away from. Sorry, sorry, not today, episode nine. Now, as our heroes fall, one food truck enthusiast will rise. <laughs> I forgot about the franchise in his VR name. garage and keep the empire in business. <laughs> <laughs> With eight episodes of Western Rifts, they got the fan base all up in their feelings over a Muppet yeah. baby. Kathleen Kennedy? More like Crapleen Kino. <laughs> See that with Din Jaren, aka Mando, which starts to sound like a slur the more you hear it. Hey, Mando, hand over the child, Mando. Get that plaster out of my face, Mando! Uh, guys, that's their word. Are you sure we can use it? <laughs> Mando! After the prequels literally ruined his childhood, follow this wandering bounty hunter on a tale of redemption in between a whole bunch of actual wandering. I didn't notice that. Hmm. I, enjoy, I just enjoyed it. I enjoyed yeah. the mood of it. Oh, it's, it's so good. It's like 30 minutes long. It's... As he jets from exotic locales to less exotic locales to a quick detour to most nostalgia to pick up a delivery of Easter eggs. Wow. <laughs> Tuscan Raiders. But screw it. How fun is it to dick around in the Star Wars universe without some sad kid and their daddy issues killing the vibe, man? <laughs> Everything will change when this lone, not a Gungan gunman. Maybe he's a Gungan. Meets the most adorable MacGuffin of all time, the child. Okay, you know what? We're not doing that. He's a Baby Yoda. We're calling him Baby Yoda. He's a magic puppet who can kill you with cuteness. <laughs> and if that doesn't work, he can always just kill you. No, no, stop! <laughs> but one thing is for certain. He's not nearly as precocious when they reveal he's actually a middle-aged man. They said 50 years old. I'm on to you, baby Yoda. You can talk. You're just some creepy boomer with a diaper fetish, aren't you? <laughs> I'll let my kid play with you. Saddle up for brand new Star Wars adventures, the likes of which he'd never seen before. But don't freak out. Look, familiar stuff. Tatooine, classic stormtroopers. Good. Breathe. Good. In this tale of one man's destiny to clear an extremely low bar, be <laughs> the best single dad in Star Wars. But this father-son duo won't travel alone. There's Quill, who finally gave a modern update to talk to the hand. I have spoken. I have spoken. I have spoken. <laughs> Tobias Fugay's acting coach. You take this home, throw it in the pot, add some broth, a potato. Baby, you got a stew going. And Cara Dune, the ex-rebel with less range than the guy in the helmet. So we're gonna go to trap. We're gonna need to dig real deep, right here. But when it steps in, it drops. Together, they'll encounter scum, yeah. villainy, and the that. best Second. alternate dimension cast of Saturday Night Live with Horatio Sands. Oh my God, this is amazing. Brian Fussain, Amy Sedaris, <laughs> Bill Burr, Richard Iowade, Jason Sudeikis, and your host, Taika Waititi. You have suffered damage to your central processing unit. <laughs> my brain. That was a joke. <laughs> so strap in for a show that every level of Star Wars fan can enjoy. Whether you're a noob who just wanted to know why Baby Yoda was on your kid's Christmas list, but stuck around because it reminded you of the Searchers. A casual fan who spent eight episodes wondering why Luke Skywalker wasn't in the Boba Fett show. Or a hardcore nerd who needed validation for keeping your toy collection mint in box all these years. Wait, is that the Imperial Troop Transport? Of my youth? It's 
It's beautiful. <laughs> that earned its success to telling a simple lean story about an all-new family in the Star Wars universe. And because it was a hit, they're probably about to weigh it down with a bunch of lore crossovers and spinoffs. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. This is the way. Starring Dark Helmet. I'm 50. <laughs> Baby, you've got a root and stew going. MMA? <laughs> Werner Herzog as himself. I see nothing but death and chaos. I would like to see the baby. Yes, Satan? I'm sorry, sir. You sounded like someone else. <laughs> <laughs> what a reference. <laughs> Jesus. Shut your mouth, cause I have spoken. The Outer Skyrim. How oh, you like the Mad huh? Boba Fee. <laughs> Let's make the baby do the magic hand thing. Come on, baby. Do the magic hand thing. That's not how the magic hand thing works. Nerds of the round table. Wow. And when my friends ask what fastball song we're listening to. This is the way. 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 The outer rim job. Wow. <laughs> I feel like you've had and that once toy. Again, the galaxy is a mostly mechanic, <laughs> bounty hunting, and cantina-centric economy. No one's ever a real estate agent in these things. Marketing. Somehow the Star Wars universe remains dentist-free. Don't they have teeth? I feel like you had that toy because no. you laughed way too hard at that. No, I just loved it because <laughs> his voice shifted. He's really good at shifting his voice. I was introduced to him with the Honest Trailers mm -hmm. and I've met him. He's a friend of mine. His ability to just change his voice into these different things always, it never ceases to amaze me. I've been watching them for years, obviously. Mm -hmm. And so there was a time where the Honest Trailers wasn't making me laugh quite as hard and I was less interested. Now it's coming back strong where I'm like, oh my God, like they're actually really tickling me. And so this actually made me really happy. It's one of the best Honest Trailers I've seen in a minute. So I did misspeak, I think. I, I have seen these before, so I guess maybe I just didn't know exactly what they were called, but yeah. still hilarious. This one was really funny. Yeah. I think as someone who kind of dabbles in the Star Wars universe, like this was spot on for, I feel like, super fans and people that just kind of dabble. And shout out Baby Yoda. I feel like this was definitely spot on in terms of their commentary while making you laugh. The MMA thing, like I forgot yeah. about her. When I was watching her, she was one of the sore spots in the show for me. I'm like, I was I was just wondering like why they they didn't get a better actress. Right. She had the acting chops of a cardboard box. Like it, it's just like what the hell is happening? Like why where is this where is this person coming from? Why is she in the show? Bill Burr obviously really excited. I'm a huge Bill Burr fan. Well, oh, so, he's incredible. Yeah, I love Bill Burr. I, really, I, I, I thought he was so I, I think he's such a dope addition to yeah. the Mandalorian. It was like unexpected and really awesome. I do hope they find a way to bring her back, even though I'm pretty sure they won't, yeah. because it was more of just like a one off thing. This hit every single point that I would want to talk about. At the very end though, there was an Ace Ventura reference. Oh, okay, wait, go back, because I actually love Ace Ventura, and I'm kind of like upset with myself that I missed it. Yes, Satan? I'm sorry, sir, you oh. sounded like someone else. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> That Got was it. great. Yeah, yeah. That's, I was so distracted by that, because I was like, who's gonna get that joke today? You did. Uh, well, I did, because I'm old. It went over my head. Yeah, but like, if you're under the age of 20, you're not gonna get, I don't feel like you're gonna get that joke. Do, people, do kids watch that movie still? No, I don't think they know who Ace Ventura is. I think they don't even really know who Jim Carrey is, because, I mean, what has he done that's kind of- Sonic the Hedgehog. Everything he does is so obscure now. But he's a comedic genius and should be noted as such. But I do feel like Generation Z is not as familiar with his work. They were talking about how at the beginning, like the evil overlord Disney did this to Star Wars and the same overlord is gonna give us this awesome thing. Right. And it's just because they gave, uh, what's his name, Free Reign. Oh, Jesus, I can't, his name escapes me now. Oh, John Favreau. John Favreau. They gave him Free Reign to do what he wants. This is a weird reference to make, but they basically gave him the same Free Reign that they gave Louis C.K. when he did his comedy show. And that oh, became wow. like, a huge, huge hit while it was on air. Well, John Favreau is a genius. I right. mean, he's had such a great lexicon to his work. I mean, Iron Man, like, come on. He's supremely swingers. talented. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. So I have like a bone to pick with Swingers. I am not a fan of Vince Vaughn because of Swingers, because his character was so oh. annoying. Oh, really? Such an annoying character. Oh, uh, what, what you got to understand is as a kid, <clears throat> I actually really appreciated Vince Vaughn. And so right. when I watched that movie, I don't have an issue with him necessarily. What I remember was the telephone scene. I was so uncomfortable because it was so so real. Yeah. And so John Favreau is that perfect middle point between like comedy and nerd. And he knows how to bring the two together in order to like make you feel nostalgic, give you something new and make you laugh at the same time. I remember one of my best friends complaining about like the slow pace of the show. It feeling too much like a Western initially for him, but I actually mm. appreciated that about Star Wars, excuse me, I misspoke about Mandalorian. Mm. Coming off the movies, especially the last one. Did you enjoy the last one? No. Okay. Because Rise of Skywalker, like typically, like I love Star Wars so much that whenever a film would come out, 
if it was in theaters, I'd watch it like three times in theaters. Right. And even if the movie wasn't great, I would still have a tradition of watching it at least two to three times in theaters. With Rise of Skywalker, I saw it at the um, premiere that, God, what's going on? <laughs> <clears throat> I saw it at the premiere that Disney had, and I was like, I think I'm good. I canceled all my tickets. Wow. Like, I just don't need to watch this again. And the more time yeah. went on, I was less and less enthusiastic about it. I just got more frustrated thinking about it more. Like, that was so not a Star Wars movie. It just rushed its way to the end. And so Mandalorian comes along and it's like taking its time, really allowing you to breathe and understand the characters and feel this journey. I was like, wow, in the first 10 minutes of Mandalorian, it made me hate Rise of Skywalker. This is what it should have been. It's so much more profoundly interesting. The slower pace with him walking and whatnot, I actually appreciated all that. Yeah, I mean, I think Mandalorian was so well done. I'm so excited for the second season. I just felt like they did Finn so dirty in The Rise of Skywalker. Like I don't the, know why he was in that movie at all, to be honest with you. Like, I just felt like they, they did not do a service to his character, and I was like really upset with that progression of that character. Yeah. I think a lot of people were not happy with that, so it's nice that we got this. And shout out to Jon Favreau, who, by the way, I think I first was introduced to Jon Favreau through Friends. You know what's funny you should say that is I had no idea who he was before that show. You're absolutely right. Like, mm -hmm. I saw him there, and then I saw him in a movie called The Replacements with Keanu Reeves. Mm -hmm. And it was a football movie where he plays this really eccentric guy. And then come to find out he's this director and actor. I'm yeah. like, what the hell? Who is this dude? And, and then writer. like from there, like I just got more and more exposed to him. And then suddenly he's taking over Marvel. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. But he's doing such a great job with Marvel. Like I think he's so fantastic. And yeah. in his hands, like he's clearly very capable of like bringing some of our favorite stories to life. So right. Right. shout out John Patrick. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually surprised at how well Honest Trailers was able to write the comedy for this particular video. Generally speaking, when something is so well done, it's so much harder to make fun of it. In the beginning of the video, at the very least, they had to really reference the Star Wars culture and other films in right. order to bring in comedy. Because when something's good, how do you make a laugh out of it? It's yeah. easier to make a laugh out of something awful like Mulan, the movie, <laughs> right? Like, that's easy to poke fun at. But this is so much harder because it's just like, the filmmaking is, uh, to me, is just on point. Yeah, you know, really, really happy with this. You guys hopefully enjoyed that. Let us know your feelings in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to Screen Junkies if you want to see more honest trailers, independent of the reactions. But if you want to see more reactions, do subscribe and check out Tam <laughs> Tamara. 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 I'll get it right someday. Yeah. Tamara. <laughs> Rhymes with camera. Tamara, camera. Tamara's on camera. Uh, yeah. Check out Tamara on the social media. Subscribe, hit that bell icon, all notifications. I'm Jabby Kuei. This is Tamara Dia. Peace out.